The next area I'd like to cover is creating a data connection to the Pentaho metadata repository. So far, you've seen me create a SQL query against the JDBC data connection, and also create a manual table or insert an Excel spreadsheet to use as data for my report. Pentaho also has a semantic layer, and that semantic layer can be defined with the Pentaho metadata editor. This tutorial will not go into creating the metadata models. There is one out there on the tutorial's homepage. But this metadata model can be exposed to the Pentaho report designer, so you're able to use all the field elements, derived calculated fields, in an easy to understand manner. And the way we do that is within the report designer, defining a new report under data sets, select metadata. Now the metadata repository by default sits in the Pentaho solution repository. That repository is in a file system where the BI server is installed. So you're able to access that repository by navigating to the location, to the root solution under Pentaho solutions, and then by selecting the metadata XMI file. If you are on a remote system, it is recommended that you have a mapped network drive to the location of the Pentaho Solutions directory. We can then create our query, and then enter the domain ID. The domain ID is the name of the Solutions directory, as you can see here, steel-wheels. And then we can begin creating our query. Now you notice that the available models are listed in the dropdown, and these models basically correlate to the models in the metadata designer. We can select the orders model, and then begin creating our query, such as territory, status information, as well as customer name and order totals for our metric. And then we can order status, territory, and customer name. Now it's important to order the selected columns and then also use the order by statement so you can use the appropriate group headings in the report designer. So I'll also do an order by status. territory, and customer name. So make sure that your columns and your order by match the appropriate order. You'll also notice that it generates this query language, which is known as MQL, stands for Metadata Query Language. It's a XML structure that is used to query the metadata repository. There is documentation that describes the constructs and formulas and other syntax available if you wanted to customize this and use more advanced features. And here we can preview our result set. Click OK, expand our data set, and now we have our columns. What I would like to do next is start dragging and dropping my fields to create the report. So by default, we'll just grab all our column fields and then order appropriately just to get a very simple table, table dump. And now we can start structuring our report. What I'd like to do is create two levels of groupings where I have my first level group of status, my second level group of territory, and then all the details for the customers for each territory. Now the report design wizard has the notions of creating those groupings automatically, but if you don't use the report design wizard and you start from scratch, I'm gonna show you that method here. Under structure, you have a default group already created for you. Its group header is turned off by default, and you'll notice under the common section, under the attributes tab, you have hide on canvas. We can uncheck that. 
Here we could also provide a name for the group, and this will be our status group. Then what we also need to do is for this group is define what field is going to be the high level group. In this case, we click add and then select status as our appropriate field for the actual group. Now with the group header turned on, we could control X or cut, select our group header and control V and paste. And then by doing a preview, you can see we start having our first level shipped, resolved on hold and process. But now we need to handle the other levels of groupings. So what I'm gonna do next is go into my groups, right click and add a group. And in the add group dialog, we're now gonna add territory. And we'll call this territory group. And then select the appropriate field for that group. And you can see now we have the other header. I can go into my detail section, control X to cut out the territory field, select the secondary group header, control V and paste it in. And now if we do a preview, we have our shipped North America and then all the customers. And now these are Japan, EMEA territories under shipped and then repeats for the resolve status on hold and in process. To make it a little more aesthetically pleasing, give a little more space. And for a detail section, we could also put on some row banding and just use the default uh, row banding color. Do a preview. And there's our report.